All right, here's a quick video of the ESS air sound system in my two flight line Spitfires. This one right here has TT25 speakers on it, and the gray nurse over there is using the complete stock ESS system with its own speakers. Uh, the speakers are actually mounted down in the radiator scoops down there, but uh, I'll show more about that here in a minute. I just wanted to fire it up real quick while I'm trying to hold this and let everybody kind of hear what it sounds like. It's not bad for its little system. There's idle. And I'll go ahead and take it up. Guns. I got two guns on here. Now the two-bladed prop is a little noisier than the four-bladed prop, so it does kind of wind it out. I did try one, but I like flying with the two-bladed prop right now. So, and on this particular one right here, I actually use the uh, old canopy sliding and open mechanism from a 1400 FMS version 7, version 8 bird, and made this canopy so that it manually opens and closes. So, and it locks shut, and then up underneath the top. And of course, I'm working on changing out my pilot. Got a, Rob66 sent me a pair of heads from England. Those nice ones that he did, and I really appreciate that, Rob. That was really nice. And I'm working on those right now, and then I'll end up modifying these guys. Kind of like what he did. I'll just cut their head off, put them in there, because the head he sent me is super, super detailed. Best I've ever seen. But, uh... There's my first flight line Spitfire. I'm gonna pick it up here and flip it over so you can kind of see. I know I posted pictures on this earlier. Now I actually, as you saw in RC groups, kind of hollowed out part of the wing right there. It doesn't change the structural on it much. I do have screens in mind and I countersunk the speakers. But they do stay super cool. Uh, in in flight because they get air over them and they do get pretty warm I mean they'll get warm enough that you don't want to touch it for very long at all but that's where I put them and it doesn't affect the CG at all I have a uh, Admiral 3600 Pro in here right there's the ESS air system all the wires come up through there battery so it leaves all this open I can actually slide the battery all the way back or all the way up forward right now it's sitting about in the middle but it actually needs to sit pretty far forward for a 3600 with a 4000 ship a little bit to keep the CG and I am using the 80 to 82 millimeter mark which is about that line that you'll see on the fairing right there or just slightly behind it the original stock CG is just between the line and this piping but uh, there's that one what it sounds like and it's not bad you get it too far away from me you can't hear it but it sounds really nice in flybys and up close passes and what have you there's really not a whole places to mount speakers in this airplane that's hollow because this plane from about here well actually from here all the way to here is solid foam and components and and um, servo connections and then your receiver so there's no place to mount a speaker unless you come back here and mount it somewhere back in here where the hollow part of the empennage is but that puts the weight pretty far back 
pistol. That's why I mounted them in the uh, scoops, uh, radiator scoops, because at least it's not too far back off the CG in between the weight of that, which weighs almost nothing. It's, just, it's, it's almost lighter than a receiver and about the same size. But the speakers and the TT25s are about an ounce. I think it's 18, 12 grams heavier than the ESS speakers, but they're more powerful. They'll uh, actually sound a little better, and that's what these are. These are TT25s in this one right here, or what you just heard. And I do have the volume all the way up. I think there's eight increments of volume, plus or minus, and it'll hold two airplanes. Right now I have uh, what you just heard was, this, was the Spitfire sound that they that they've done and then alternate i have uh, i believe it is the me 109 which sounds pretty close it's a little louder the spitfire is a little quieter smoother sounder like a merlin it and the mustang sound really alike so i'm sure that's what they did here so i'll pause this and make another video and i'm going to move the battery over to the uh green nurse and we're going to fire it up and hear what the ESS sound system sounds like on it with the ESS system. The speakers in it are not countersunk in the wing, though I'm, I think I'm going to change that and pull those scoops back off and I'm going to countersink them in the wing. Because that's a pretty, that's, this is a pretty thick piece of foam right here that they're mounted on. And I thinned it down so that the speakers between, from here to the actual where the speakers mounted is only about a quarter of an inch. Um, that way it vibrates a lot better whereas over there it's mounted right to the raw bottom of the wing so it's that's it's that's a good inch and a half piece of foam there or at least an inch and uh, so it's not quite as loud as what you what you heard so for the little ESS system it's not bad and it draws nearly nothing in juice so I'll pause this and move on to the other airplane